five keys to success with any endeavor. That's the list we'll be going through in this video, so let's get right into it. But really quickly, before we do, if you haven't done so yet, or if you happen to be new here, welcome to the channel, and please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. Let's talk through the list. Now, of course, this is just a list of five keys for success that I have boiled down for you to present in this video. Now, of course, there are far more than just five keys to success. However, these are five that I actually think are very, very important, and it'll certainly get you on the road towards success. We can come back in future videos and follow up with even more keys that'll take you even further in whatever endeavor you're working on. So, with that being said, let's get into Number one, relentless persistence. In other words, continuing to persevere regardless of the adversity that you may face. Let's be real. Regardless of whatever you're working on, there's always going to be some kind of temporary setbacks, some kind of short-term hurdles or adversity that you need to get over or around. Now, sometimes it may take a little while. You might need to take a step back. Think about it for a little while. You might need to consult with other people that can help you get around it, whatever it happens to be. Or maybe you just continue to power right on through it. It doesn't really matter your approach. Sometimes you just got to know that you know, you might need to step back for a little while and just kind of assess the situation and think, okay, here's what I have at hand right now. Here's what's going on. How can I approach this? Here are my options, right? So just continuing to push on is ultimately what you need to do. In fact, it's been said multiple times that successful people simply do the things that other people don't want to do, which is what makes them successful. In other words, relentless persistence, continuing to push on when other people may just say, you know, I'm kind of good. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm kind of good. Well, that's where the successful person comes in and they continue to push on and ultimately they persevere, right? All right, let's get on to number two. Clearly identifying a goal, purpose, or target that you can focus on. This is incredibly, incredibly important. If you're working towards something and you want to achieve something, it's very important that you identify exactly what it is that you want to get. Now, here's the thing. Let me give you a quick analogy. If you don't have a destination that you're working toward, it's kind of hard to get to the destination if you don't have one identified. In other words, let's just say you are in New York and you wanna make it to California, or let's just say you wanna make it to um, somewhere in the country. You don't have a destination identified. You just start driving west. Well, where are you going? <laughs> You're probably gonna say, I don't know, I'm just going somewhere. Well, where? You could spend the next five years of your life driving around in circles because you don't have a destination. The point is, have a clearly defined goal purpose and or target that you can continuously work on each and every day or whatever time frame that you have, you can consistently work on that every single day. It's very important to have a clearly defined goal. Now, here's the thing. Everybody wants more money, right? So a lot of people approach this by saying, I want more money. Okay, that's good. It's a nice start, but it's not clearly defined. More money is simply I could walk by you on the street, hand you a dollar and be like, there you go. You've got yourself some more money. Are you happy now? No, that's not happy. When people say they want more money, usually they're talking about like $25,000, $50,000, you know, $500,000, a million, 10 million, a billion. It doesn't really matter. So you got to be very clear with exactly what it is that you want. Clearly defined goals. Very, very important. You could you could also call a goal, um, a focused target, a purpose. Doesn't really matter. There's multiple different words that can be used when it pertaining to a goal. But ultimately, just define exactly what it is that you want and be very clear with 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 what it is that you want. Okay, got to be very clear. More money is not clear enough. You've got to be very specific. A million dollars. I want a million dollars. Okay, clear. All right. Next. Cultivating the habit of doing more than what you are paid for. Now, here's the thing again. A lot of us approach just about anything and say, if that's not my job. I, I'm not paid to do that. I'm not doing it. But if you cultivate the habit and the mindset of doing more than what you are paid for, <laughs> the cool thing about it, eventually, guess what? You will be paid for it. So just can just approach everything with, okay, I might not be paid for this right now, but I know at some point in the future, 
this, whatever it is that I'm working on now, will ultimately pay me dividends in the future, okay? So just remember that. You will be paid royalties and or dividends at some point in the future from the efforts that you put in today, regardless if you actually get financial compensation today or not, don't worry about it. The money will come. So cultivate the habit of doing more than what you are paid for. All right, number four. This is an important one, which I know a lot of people don't love, but I think this one is incredibly important, possibly the most important one. Reading or learning something every single day. Now, I know when I say reading, that turns a lot of people off because a lot of people are thinking, hey, I don't like reading. I don't want to pick up a book every day and read for five hours. No, I agree. I don't either. I don't want to do that either. But here's the thing. You can read and or learn something in multiple different ways every single day. You could physically pick up a book and read. You could read something online, as in articles or digital books or magazines or something like this. You could read that way. If you don't want to read, you could listen to audiobooks. You could listen to YouTube videos like this one or audiobooks on YouTube. You could listen to podcasts. You could listen to all kinds of different things you know, for free online. It's everywhere online. You can listen to basically anything you could ever dream of online absolutely free. So um, when I say reading or learning something, it doesn't necessarily sitting down and picking up a physical book and reading. It's literally just um, stimulating your mind every single day through some kind of information, some kind of valuable information. Now, I'm not talking about fiction books, you know, I mean, fiction books have their place in the world. Yeah, they certainly do, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like actual something you can learn from, right? Fiction, okay, you know, for entertainment purposes, that's cool, but for the most part, probably not gonna learn a whole lot from it, right? So anyway, that is number four. Learn something every single day. Stimulate the mind. All right, and number five. Look for the opportunity in everything, regardless of what you're doing. Every conversation, every interaction, every radio commercial, every TV commercial, everything that you approach, look for the opportunity. This is something that I've actually cultivated um, about a year and a half ago. And I'm, man, like my mind is going crazy with everything. It is so like incredible how every conversation that I enter into, I pull out like one nugget out of every conversation. Literally, I could be talking to anybody. It does not matter one bit at all. In fact, a uh, little side note here. So one thing that my wife and I really enjoy doing, we love going through open houses. We just really enjoy walking through houses. It's just fun to look at houses, regardless if it's a you know, a $500,000 house, a $200,000 house, or a $2 million house. We just love going through houses because it's like, oh, what are all the different things out in the world? So this is something that we do relatively. Um, we do it kind of, uh, we do it kind of all the time. Sorry, I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Um, we do, this is something that we do on a regular basis. Now, yesterday we walked through a house. It was just a house. We had no interest in buying it. We just, it was like a $700,000 house. We thought, Hey, we happen to be driving by. Let's stop in for a minute and take a quick cruise through it. So we did. After we walked through the house, we realized, okay, kind of a cool house. We don't love it. We would never live here. We would never buy this house, but it's just kind of cool. You just see what's out there right now. But anyway, we were standing at the door and the realtor came over and started talking to us. We had a really, really cool conversation with that guy. In fact, just from the 15 minutes we stood there and talked to him, we pulled out some really, really good nuggets out of that conversation. My point is, it was just a realtor having an open house. We had no intentions of even talking to him other than just being like, hey, hi, thanks for letting us walk through the house. And ultimately, it turned into a really good conversation where all of us kind of left that conversation with like, wow. That was a crazy conversation. I can't believe how much we just learned from that. We pulled out some really good nuggets and ultimately all of us left that conversation feeling like, hey, we're all jacked up now. We're pretty excited, right? So my point is look for the opportunity literally in every conversation. It could be a conversation with the guy at a gas station. It could be the person at the grocery um, counter you know, that you're checking out. Um, no, not like checking out, you know what I mean? But like at the <laughs> ringing up all of your stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean? Checking out. Um, it could be literally anybody, anybody that you encounter. It could be a phone conversation. Somebody calls you. Just listen. I mean, you know what I mean? For the most part, it's, it's unbelievable how many different people you can encounter and all of the different nuggets that you can pull out of conversations. Even radio commercials. I get it. Nobody wants to listen to a commercial, but maybe you listen to the commercial and think, hey, that's a really interesting way that they just marketed that product. I, you know, I'm not going to buy the product, but just their method in which they marketed that 
I kind of like it. It's given me some different ideas on how I can move forward with my life, how I can market, uh, market my products and or services when I start doing that, right? So think of everything as in how can it benefit you? Pull stuff out of that. If you approach everything with the opportunity mindset, you're going to be shocked at how much you start learning over the coming days and or weeks as you just start paying attention to everything around you. It's pretty fun. I've been doing it for a while now and I love all the little things that I keep pulling out. It's... um. It's actually pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. So anyway, these are my five. I think it's incredibly important to implement all of these. Of course, there are many, many more than this. Of course, we can follow up in a future video and talk about more keys to success. But if you implement these five, I think you're certainly going to be on the road to success. And uh, you know, we can check back in in a short time, give you some more keys that'll take you even further down your road of success. But ultimately, I think these are definitely very uh, five that are very, very important. So hope this helps you out. I hope it gets you thinking a little bit. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much for your continued support. Hit that subscribe button right down below the video. Share this one with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of my other, uh, well, a lot of videos, over 1,400 videos right here on the channel. So thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate you, and I will see you again in the next video. I'll catch you later.